The challenge is simple. Can I make this 200 euro guitar sound as good as this almost 3,000 euro guitar? That's 10 times the price and more. This is the cheapest electroacoustic guitar that Ibanez make, the PF15ECE Natural. This is an almost 3,000 euro guitar that belongs to me. It's the Taylor 517 Builder's Edition. I originally played this Taylor in a recording session and absolutely just had to buy it because it sounded so, so good. It just sounded perfect. Those Taylor pop, easy to record sounds. This Ibanez, uh, I haven't recorded yet. I haven't even played it. From a purely financial point of view, you could buy one of these Taylors or 14 of these Ibanez guitars. So in this video, we're gonna see if we can save ourselves over 2,000 euros to get a good recorded acoustic tone. Now you may notice there's a microphone down there, the LCT 440 Pure from Lewitt, great mic, but we're not gonna be using that today for getting the actual tones. We are gonna be using it just to get some reference. So as a reference tone, this is what the Taylor sounds like through the microphone. And this is what the Ibanez sounds like through the microphone. So you should be able to notice that the Taylor sounds a lot more rounded, a lot more expensive and subtle, and there's more note separation. It sounds like a better guitar. The Ibanez sounds like a 200 euro guitar. There's nothing wrong with it, but if I had a choice between which one I was going to put on a production, I take the Taylor every time. That being said, I wouldn't want to take this to a campfire. This would do. So to even out the scales a little bit and try and make this sound like this, we're going to use the jack sockets. So now this is what this sounds like through the under saddle pickup. And this is what the under saddle pickup sounds like on the Ibanez. Let's level the playing field by introducing the star of the show, the plugin from Nembrini Audio, Acoustic Voice. What this plugin does is take the signal from the piezo under saddle pickup and add some effects to it, but most interestingly, using IRs makes the guitar sound like a different guitar. And there are six different guitars that you can choose from. This is not an in-depth review of the plugin, it's just to show you how strong the plugin is, if it works. I don't know yet, I haven't actually heard it back, so we're gonna hear it back at the same time. But the point is, or my theory is, that it shouldn't matter so much which guitar you put into this plugin, because they're both under saddle piezo pickups, it should matter what the plugin does to it. Under normal circumstances, I would always mic an acoustic, but I would also always take the DI piezo pickup just in case, because you could use that for something else. So if you're recording acoustic guitar, I would recommend always taking the piezo pickup signal just, just in case. But now, does this plugin change things? Because I love mics and I don't think you can replace them, but honestly, if you have a less than desirable room for recording acoustic guitars, this plugin could be our savior.
Well, that was interesting. So interesting that I had to have a holiday in between that part of the video and this part right now because uh, I really, really preferred the sound of the 200 euro Ibanez through the Nambrini plugin compared to the Taylor, which cost me almost 3,000 euros through the Nambrini plugin. And I spent a long time trying to uh, adjust the EQs of the Nembrini plugin on the Taylor, and really, no matter what I did, it sounded nasally, sounded horrible, sounded overprocessed. But having come back from holiday and listened to that again, it sounds processed twice. Like when you're using something like a Helix and you put that through a guitar amp and you accidentally leave the cab simulation on, whereas you're simulating the cab twice. That's what it sounds like with the Taylor. And that's because the Taylor's undersaddle pickup is uh, of higher quality than the Ibanez. So the Taylor is already trying to um, simulate itself with the pickup system. So if you listen to uh, this, which is the Taylor without the uh, plug-in on, <laughs> And now compare that to this, the Ibanez with the plugin. That sounds a little bit closer to a usable guitar sound. When you use the Taylor with the Nembrini plugin, it sounds bad, it sounds overprocessed. But let's stop talking about the Taylor. Let's talk about the Ibanez. Now, the challenge of the video was, can I make this 200 euro guitar sound as good as the 3000 euro one? And I think I've succeeded, or rather I should say, I think the Nembrini plugin has succeeded because this is an okay guitar. It plays okay, it sounds okay, it's great for 200 euros. On the recordings through the DI, it doesn't sound good. It sounds like that normal piezo, horrible plugged in sound. Throw the plug in on it and it suddenly comes alive as if Nambrini have used a cheaper guitar, a more entry level guitar to model their plug in. When I used it on the Taylor, I had very, very unsatisfactory results. And that's because I think they, that Nambrini must have had this in mind, or not this particular guitar, but a guitar in this kind of price range with this kind of piezo under saddle pickup rather than something a bit more advanced, such as the one in the Taylor. This is a truly beautiful guitar. It's beautiful to play, it's beautiful to listen to, it's beautiful to record. It is not nice to record with the Nambrini plug-in, but it does already sound good, or at least usable, with the DI signal directly out of the guitar. Now, on its own, both guitars don't sound like they're mic'd up. This is not the purpose of this video. I wasn't trying to make it sound like it was mic'd up, although I do think the Nembrini plugin is absolutely brilliant. I think the strength of this plugin is when you're doing demos or, or lo-fi recordings or putting it in a mix. I think for me, for my ear, then playing the acoustic guitar through that plugin, it's much, much better, or at least the Ibanez is. Um, the Ibanez is much, much better. And I guess that most acoustic guitars would sound better through that DI and the plugin or with a mic. I would still want to use a mic. However, uh, the Ibanez, there it is, the Ibanez sounds to me better through the plug-in than it does through the mic. Uh, bearing in mind that the mic I was using costs around 200 euros, a still entry-level mic, but a great sounding microphone, the plug-in is $99. So regarding the fact you have to buy an XLR and all that, I would if I was at a certain level of recording, recommend if you have one of these uh, entry level guitars, a cheaper guitar, even up to, you know, sort of up to a thousand sometimes, um, try the plugin because you can get a, the, the trial version. And then if you like it, you can buy it $99 compared to spending more money on a mic or more money, more, more, more money on, a, on an expensive acoustic guitar. 
Also, bear in mind that you're not just getting the IRs with the plug-in. You're also getting the compressor, the EQ, the reverbs, which are really, really nice. You're getting this widening system. You can pan it left and right. You can add a little bit of grit. You can really process that acoustic DI signal uh, with one plug-in. And I think for 99 bucks, it is absolutely a steal. However, you can also use it with an electric guitar with a magnetic pickup, so a standard humbucker or a single coil, and select the magnetic option, and then turn your electric guitar into somewhat of an acoustic guitar. So even if you don't have an acoustic, if you're doing something with a mix and you want an acoustic guitar there somewhere, absolutely get the trial version of this plug-in. Or buy it. Or, because you stayed around to this part of the video, get it for free, because I'm giving away three codes. Yes, so as a way of saying thank you, Nembrini have given me three serial codes to give away. And uh, if you want to win a copy, I'll let you know how now. I'm going to combine the end of the video club with the giveaway, because if you've reached this far, it is the end of the video, you have reached the club, and you are in a prestigious elite group of people. So remember, to prove that you are, and to win the software giveaway, when you leave your comment down below telling me what you think of this video and the plugin, please also comment the name of the plugin that I used in this video. Just pretty simple this time. Just comment the name plus whatever you want to write, and um, I'm going to use a random YouTube comment picker to, uh, to pick three winners. Yeah, so pretty simple. If you leave a comment with the correct name of the plugin, which should be very easy to find, then um, you could be in to win one of these plugins. It's Mac and PC, just so you know. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in one of those videos over there, but don't forget to leave your thumbs up so that more people get to hear of the Acoustic Voice preamp plugin. Whoops, that's the name of the plugin. Okay, thanks Nembrini, thanks to you, and I will see you very soon. Cheers, bye-bye.